Okay, so we're going to go ahead and prepare some um, some wings and we're gonna cook them in the air fryer. So what I have here is I've already washed and I'm draining off these wings. These are whole chicken wings. Uh, again, they've been rinsed and they've been drying and I also patted them dry with a paper towel. Um, so I'm just gonna show you uh, how we're gonna prepare the, wing, the whole wings. So we're gonna take the wing, all right? We're gonna cut off the tip right there, okay? And then the second joint right here between the drum and the flapper. If we wanna get through that, okay? We're gonna keep the tip for stock and we're gonna put those in there. So one more time, gonna cut right through that cartilage, find that joint right in the middle, cut right down. Flapper and the drum, tip here and the third one Right up, right at the joint, right through. And again, the drum and the flapper. And as we get through these, there are, I believe there were eight in the pack, eight whole wings. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this to the side. We don't need the tips right now. We're going to freeze those. And then we're going to go ahead and season these wings up. Okay, so now we're going to be ready to uh, season this up. We're going to use this, uh, the uh, Badia brand, uh, Saison Tropical. Prepare everything that we need. This will be uh, cornstarch. We'll open that up, get that ready, stick our spoon in there, and we've got olive oil. All right. So, because there's coloring on this uh, chicken, uh, the chicken seasoning, I'm going to wear gloves. Um, I'm going to put the gloves on. And first we're going to go ahead and uh, coat the wings with a little bit of oil, not too much. And we're gonna go ahead and toss it. All right, get a little toss. Now that's gonna help uh, with the seasoning to adhere. So we're gonna go ahead and liberally, liberally sprinkle this, okay. Now, as you can see, it's going to get a nice golden color, maybe even a little yellow, which is okay. All right, so then you kind of gauge it. This is not too salty, so uh, what you can do is uh, be a little bit more liberal. And if you think you uh, don't have that right color, you can add a little more. Now we're going to go ahead and add a little just a touch more oil, because eventually you're gonna put the cornstarch on. All right. All right, so as far as color, that looks good. All right, so it's got kind of like a nice orange color to it. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with maybe a teaspoon or so of cornstarch. All right, maybe, uh, all right, that's the or so. Okay, right there. So now we're gonna, we're gonna toss it on here. I don't necessarily think you need to have a separate bowl with cornstarch in it and then cover them individually. Might be a little much, so kind of go through the first pass. All right, and then we're gonna go with another teaspoon or so. All right, now the point here is obviously you're gonna coat it a little bit and with the oil, it's gonna help set. Uh, other techniques, you do dip the wings in cornstarch and then you spray it with oil. I mean, I guess this is all gonna get rendered out and we actually look good. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and separate 
the drums and the flaps only because this will help uh, with cooking time and the evenness of cooking. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that. All right. All right, so now we're all set and ready to go. We're going to get prepared with the air fryer. Okay, so we're uh, set up here with the uh, air fryer. And what we're going to do is we're going to do these in two batches. So we're going to uh, air fry at 400. Actually, you know what? Let's do that to 390 with a time of 30 minutes. All right. So what we're going to do is 30 minutes and then we're going to let them cook on the one side for 17 minutes. And then at the uh, 17 minute mark, we're going to flip them over and let them finish cooking. Uh, we're also going to have to preheat this and I have a liner of parchment paper. So we're going to go with that 390 and 30 minutes and we're going to hit start. So while this is going, we're just going to wait here with our, with our wing parts. We're going to do the flaps first. Uh, no particular reason why, just uh, I guess it's just easier because they're flat and we get that squared away. All right, so we're going to wait for this to get warmed up and we'll uh, transition these wings into the basket. All right, so now the uh, air fryer is saying to add the food. We're going to take out the basket. We're going to put our parchment in. I still have the gloved hand. So the parchment sits in there like that. I'm gonna place this there. Uh, I'm, gonna lay, I'm gonna lay these down, uh, the skin side down, because we're gonna flip them over and that's what, that's what you want crispy when you uh, pull them out. So I'm gonna lay them in. There's about eight of them. So I'll... Well, not about, there actually are eight of them. And that's how they look arranged in the basket. Okay, so now we'll just slide it back in. We're gonna let the unit keep going. It's gonna preheat a little bit longer. Okay, so now it's going. Uh, as you can see, the, the display is going to uh, alternate between the time and the temperature. So, like I said, we're going to go ahead and do this for 17 minutes. We're going to set our timer for 17 minutes. Timer. 17 minutes. And we'll start. So we'll see you back in 17 minutes. All right, so we're counting down. All right, so that's about 17 minutes. see so it looks like let me shut off the timer all right and again a little close up that's what they look like they're looking pretty crisp around the edges so let's go flip them a little plastic uh, set of tongs here so we don't scratch the inside I do have silicone tipped one somewhere but anyway We'll flip these over. You can see the nice orange color. All right. So that's what they look like flipped over. Nice orange color. Now this will cook the rest of the time and we'll come back when it's all over. All right. So there it goes. Let's go back and on and 13 minutes left. So we'll be back. Okay, we're in the uh, final 10 seconds. Count down to see these wings. And let's see what we got. All right, so there it goes. It's ending, or it has ended. Go ahead and pull this out. And I think you'll be very happy to see what the 
final product is. Those look really good. Now, I'm gonna go grab a fork and I wanna show you Not sure if that picks up the sound, but they are. They have a nice crisp to them. It's not overly crunchy because uh, we did not overdo it with the cornstarch. But as you will see here, we're going to plate these up. All right. Not sure what a proper arrangement is, but. I'm gonna go ahead and put this other one that doesn't want to leave. Okay, so just like that. All right, so that looks pretty darn good. All right, so with that, we're just gonna go ahead and put the other ones in. I'm gonna put my gloves on. Just again, there's a there's an orange coloring. It's from the annatto seed. And that's pretty much what it is. So, same thing, we're gonna, there is kind of like a top and bottom side. So the side that's more covered with the skin, that's gonna go on the bottom. So we want it to look like this on top. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and arrange these. Okay, let's see, like that. That'll look good right there. And whole wings, whole chicken wings are better than the in my opinion, better than the frozen kind. I mean, they're still fresh, the frozen ones, oh well, I mean, they're, they were fresh at one point, but I guess what I'm trying to say here is that typically the ones that you get that are absolutely fresh and never been frozen, I think they tend to be a little bit bigger. So, I know size may not always be everything, but you know what, when it comes to wings, that's what we're looking at. Okay, so that's good there. All right, so that's the wing arrangement. And we're gonna do the same thing. Air fry for 30 minutes at 390. Time. And we're good to go. All right. Time to flip these guys. See how they look. Let's give them a flip. Put them on the other side. They are looking gorgeous. All right. Last one to flip over. Oh, this one didn't quite get turned over, so we'll do that. Same thing with this guy. And away we go. See you at the end. Okay, and now we're approaching the final 10 seconds of the drums. And uh, in about three seconds, we're gonna be able to pop these out. We'll take a look. How do those look? Huh? Now let's grab that fork. Let's see what they sound like. Alright. There is a crispy sound in there. So let's go ahead and plate these up. Make a little room for these guys. Okay, and there you have it. Beautiful plate of wings, ready to go with a light crispness to it. And uh, that's all we have, enjoy.